Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2023 movie Ghosted. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see a young girl named Sadie driving around the outskirts of Washington, D.C. when she receives a call from someone called Dr. Yates. Sadie goes on to talk to her about someone's sudden demise, and she is bummed about that. She says that she has been feeling really down ever since that girl died despite the fact that she barely knew her. Sadie says that she is down because that girl's life was the same as hers, they were the same age, they had the same job, even their houses looked and felt the same, which is empty and cold. Yates tells her to be strong, adding that she will check in with her soon. We then see a man named Cole Turner in the market on his small stall, and as it turns out, he has recently been dumped by his girlfriend. He shared this secret with a woman named Edna who is also in the market, but she gossiped about it to the other people in the market too. Edna has a stall of plants and tells Cole to keep an eye on it while she has gone out for smoke. While she's gone, the same girl from earlier makes her way into Edna's stall and starts looking around. Cole notices and approaches Edna's stall to ask Sadie what she wants. She has selected a plant, but she tells him that she is not home too much, so she should get something which she would not need to water for days ahead. When he is about to sell her the plant, he says that he does not feel good about selling the plant because he thinks she is going to kill it. She gets annoyed by that and as they argue, Edna arrives and asks them what's going on. She then just tells Sadie to pay $10 for the plant and Sadie leaves after paying. When she's gone, Edna tells Cole to go ask Sadie out and he follows her to the car despite being reluctant about it at first. Cole asks her out for a cup of coffee and she is weirded out by that because they just had an argument. She says no at first, but as Cole is about to walk away, she calls him back and tells him that she could use a cup of coffee. He gets into her car and they hit the road. They end up hanging out for a long time and going to different places. She tells him that she is an art curator, which is why she has to travel all over the world, and he tells her that he is currently writing a book on farming plants. They then go on to talk about horror movies, and Sadie tells him that nothing scares her because she has chosen not to be scared. She then tells him a story about how she fled the country with her mom on a raft, and it was terrifying back then. All of them were scared, but her mom was brave. That day, she decided that she was going to be brave just like her mom, and nothing scares her now. They keep hanging out together for the whole day and the whole night together. They go to a bar, and she sings. She then invites him over to sing too, but he is too nervous. She then tells him that she just needs someone who can be like a cactus that does not need water for a long time, meaning she is out of the country more often than not so. She wants someone who could be there for her, because as of right now, she has no one and her life kind of sucks. The next thing we see, they're making out. There is clearly some intimacy between them, and when he walks her home, they even go on to have a wild, steamy hormone sandwich. Later, he makes his way back home and tells his mom and dad about her. They are excited, but his sister named Maddie says that he is going to blow her because he always gets carried away. He tells his parents that she might be the one, and even his mom admits that he gets carried away. They are, however, supportive towards him. For the next few days, he keeps texting her, but she does not respond to him. His dad comes up with different theories behind her not responding to him, but Maddie is right. She tells him that Sadie has just ghosted him. He then remembers that he left his inhaler in her purse, and as it turns out, he put a tracker on that as he does with all of his stuff. He checks the location, and it turns out she's in London. His mom and dad tell him to surprise her in London, but Maddie does not think it's a good idea. She thinks that he is going to come off as a loser, but his parents are supportive of his idea, and the next thing we know, he is on his way to London. He goes to London, but while he is following her current location, he ends up in a dark alley and gets kidnapped by some people. The next thing we know, he is at what seems like a lab full of dangerous insects that are used to torture people. The man investigating him keeps saying that Cole is the tax man, but Cole says he is just a farmer. Just as he is about to be tortured, Sadie shows up with a rifle and goes on to shoot everyone out there. As they move out of there, the alarms go off, and he is shocked to see her like that. It turns out she lied to him about being an art curator. She's actually an agent working with CIA. They then engage in a shootout, and she gives him a gun, too. He does not shoot people, but does find cover for him. When they come out of the cave, finally, we learn that they are in Khyber Pass, Pakistan. Just as they are about to leave in her jeep, they are attacked by the local security forces, and as they run from them, they go on to stop a bus at gunpoint and take the bus. They are now on the bus and the security forces follow them and keep shooting at them. The chase goes on for a long time and some of the soldiers manage to jump on the bus, but Cole uses his wrestling skills from school and takes them down. 
She says that she slept with him once and he began stalking her, and he tells her what he did was actually supposed to be a romantic gesture. They finally manage to take down all the vehicles and the bikers chasing them, and then the bus gives up. She tells him that they are going to have to walk now. The scene changes to a cave where we see a man named Levesque, who is the real man behind the mission. He wants some passcode from the taxman, and they think Cole is the taxman. He tells his men that anyone who is able to bring in taxman is going to get $1 million. In the meantime, Sadie and Cole get to a place called Mingola, where she meets a guy named Marco, who seems to be a powerful figure there, and when he meets her, he goes on to kiss her too. They talk about a biochemical weapon called Aztec that has the ability to wipe out the eastern seaboard. She then reveals that she was actually at the cave to get Aztec, adding that Cole was her second priority. She tells Marco that she wants him to manage a safe flight for Cole back to America, and he agrees. It turns out Marco and Sadie used to date too. They're in the same profession, so it just works. And just as Sadie goes away, she tells Cole never to contact her again, but after a moment, Marco is shot dead by a black man. He takes away both Sadie and Cole at gunpoint. The black man calls himself the grandson of Sam, as he is taking them away. He is attacked by a man called the Leopard, who has been sent by Levesque. The Leopard now tells both Sadie and Cole to go with him. However, when they get in the car, someone calling himself the Lion kills Leopard. He tells them to drive on after throwing the Leopard's body out. The Lion is also killed and these two manage to get away. When they are in the car, he tells Sadie that they kept asking him for the passcode and she now learns that they cannot use the Aztec because they do not have the passcode. She reveals that she killed Edna, her recent co-worker, because she managed to encrypt the passcode and it turned out she was a traitor working with the enemy. She then goes on to punch him and knock him out and the next thing we see, she is acting as a bounty hunter and takes Cole to Levesque and his men, telling them that he is the tax man and has the passcode. They make him sit on a plane and she is told that she will get paid when they land. They decide to torture Cole for the passcode, but Levesque himself does not get on the plane. He gives all the responsibility to his right hand called Wagner. They however find a picture of her and Cole which they took in bed when they were sleeping together. She then tells them that she is the tax man and she has the passcode to Aztec that is right there in this plane. She however attacks them all and manages to put down Wagner right away. Another man gets into a fight with her, but she goes on to snap his neck just after he stabs her. Cole in the meantime uses his wrestling skills and goes on to take down another man. She then tells him to jump off the plane with a parachute with Aztec, but he is not willing to leave her there. He then grabs her and the two jump off the plane right away. Six hours later, they are at Socotra Island in the Arabian Sea. She wakes up. He has tended to her wounds because he has good knowledge of plants. The next morning, they go on to talk and go on to have a wild, steamy hormone sandwich before they are attacked by Wagner and his men. She has, however, sent her location to CIA, so her team gets there right away and kills some of Wagner's men. However, Wagner manages to get away with Aztec, and the team of CIA is bummed about it. The scene changes and they are sitting in the CIA headquarters being interviewed by a man named Monte Jackson. Sadie and Cole again get into an argument when she says that saving him was a mistake because she lost Aztec when she tried saving him. He is really offended by that. They have lie detectors attached to them and it keeps signaling that these two have a sexual tension between them and Jackson tells them to get a room. She then meets the boss who is Dr. Yates. Yates is disappointed in her and tells her that she could lose her job. In the meantime, Jackson talks smack about Sadie to Cole, who is still protecting her. He tells her that she is a killer and a liar, but when he sees her photo, Cole notices a plant and says that this plant is the thing which Elna used to figure out the password of Aztec, so they should get this plant from her apartment right away. They then decide to use Cole for the mission, telling them that they have to take down Levesque or else he is not going to stop following him because he thinks that Cole is the tax man, so he could even hurt his family. Cole decides to help them, but Sadie tells him that it is a big mistake, adding that they are just trying to use him. He says that they say the same thing about her. While Sadie leaves the CIA headquarters, he starts working for them. In the meantime, Mr. Utami, the man who hired Levesque to get Aztec, comes to see him and tells him that he needs it right away. Levesque tells him that he is going to have it soon. They then decide to see the tax man, and Utami says that he is going with Levesque, and if they get the password, their deal is good, and if he does not get the passcode, he's going to kill Levesque right away. Tax man Cole wants to take Aztec from them. They go to a spot in the mall where a table is reserved. While Cole waits for them to arrive, his team is killed, and Jackson tells him to get out of there with his dying breath. Cole, however, decides to stay because he is sure that Sadie will come to save him. 
He sits on a table and is joined by Utami and his men. Levesque right away tells him that they have this thing and they need him to open it. Cole, however, pretends to be a traitor to the country, adding that he wants to walk out of this building a rich man, but Levesque says that he does not believe them at all. It turns out this meeting was set where he pretended to be a traitor, but Levesque, of course, did not believe him and still does not believe it. He keeps looking around as he waits for Sadie to show up and she finally does. He then goes on to tell Mr. Utami that she is actually the tax man and she has the passcode. Utami goes on to send her the money right away, and she opens the case containing Aztec. When it is opened, Levesque tries to kill her, but it turns out he is surrounded by the bounty hunters who have been hired by her. A shootout begins, and she manages to grab Aztec just before her and Cole under a table. They work together for a while to fight these people off, but then they are separated as Cole gets engaged in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Wagner. Utami tells Levesque to get him out of this place, but Levesque shoots him. Wagner and Cole get inside the control room where we see big machines. Those machines get turned on during their attacks on each other and the next thing we see, the whole building where everyone else is fighting, it starts spinning and the situation turns even more chaotic there. While Wagner and Cole fight, Levesque and Sadie engage in a shootout. He manages to kill Wagner and gets back out there in the hall where Levesque is about to finish off Sadie. He attacks him but Levesque still manages to get the upper hand in the fight and gets his hands on Aztec too. She goes on to shoot the ceiling over his head and it collapses on him. He is crushed and Sadie now has Aztec and Cole is also safe. Both of them kiss as he tells her that she looks great in the black dress she's wearing. The scene then changes to Sadie and Cole dining with his family and his parents are thrilled to have her over. Maddie is also impressed by her as they tell the family about all they've been through. The scene changes to three months later where Cole and Sadie are now in a relationship and have been making good success in their respective careers. He goes on to open the trunk of the car and there is a man in there with his mouth taped. She tells him that he is an arms dealer and both of them go out on their date and with that, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.